This is in response to Billy's talking points memo from Monday, June 1st, 2015. It's war in some American cities. So right off the bat, Billy wants to get into the, the fear factor. War, you know, war in the United States, war with ISIL, war with Putin, war with China. <laughs> uh, you know, we're in a perpetual state of war, so he has to bring up war because he has to bring up fear because that's, it's almost like it's redundant, that the only thing he can talk about day in and day out is, is war and fear. And he has to just bring up the fear factor all the time. So what does he do? He talks about uh, the murder rates that have been going on in Chicago, which has been going on for a number of years. They're astronomically high. I think he said 169 this year already. Baltimore uh, had 43 murders in, um, in uh, May, um, which is the highest they've ever recorded. And of course, he has to bring in New York City because the only reason he has to bring it up is because he has to trash de Blasio. So, uh, yes, there has been, of course, but here's the thing. Uh, Chicago has been going on for some time. And of course, that has to do with a lot of gun, gun running from a lot of states south of Illinois that guns come into, <laughs> into Chicago. And in Baltimore, it is pretty obvious that the police have stood down. The police didn't like the fact that six of their own were charged with the murder of Freddie Gray. And we will see what happens when the actual court case comes about. That's going to be for at least a year or more. So what do they do? They basically say, well, hey, if that's the way they're going to treat, you're going to treat us, then this is how we're going to treat all of you. Then taking, taking uh, uh, not accepting their oath to protect, they're basically saying, uh, we, we don't want to get hurt. Uh, protecting people who don't care, you know, protecting the city, which doesn't even care about us. And remember, most of the officers, especially almost all of the white officers that work in Baltimore, live in other jurisdictions. So why should they care about the city? They don't really care. You know, they don't have any skin in the game, so to speak. Uh, and again, uh, the New York City crime in, uh, crime rate has gone up, excuse me, the murder rate has gone up 15%, according to Billy. And of course, he has to blame that on the fact that de Blasio has also uh, had asked uh, that we stop the stop and frisk, where they take anyone off the street who they has, have a suspicion, and they, which is mostly people of color, and they frisk them. So he, and of course, there is no cause and effect that even remotely shows that that can be true. But in Billy's mind, of course it's true. And of course, all of the people that he's presenting this to are going to believe all of that also. So no stop and frisk, that means that the crime rate, that the crime rate has gone back up. And remember, uh, the New York City police also got very mad at de Blasio when he indicated, because he has a biracial son, that he had to talk to his biracial son and indicate to him very clearly that he had better not say do say or do anything if he is ever approached by the police because of course the clear indication is is that they will treat a person of color much differently they will than they will treat a white person and if that cop does not know that he is the son of the mayor then you know whatever he <laughs> whatever the son may say or any gesture that he may do may ca cause him harm and guess what that is absolutely correct but the police didn't want to hear that so of course they're uh, doing their own uh, uh, um, slowdown in New York City also now Billy he can't stop right there. He can't stop himself. He has to come bring in other things that are completely irrelevant, indicating that the infrastructure has collapsed in New York. So he has to show a picture of a couple um, uh, uh, traffic jams, which happen everywhere in every city in this country and it's just about everywhere else in the world all the time. And of course, the implication is, is that is de Blasio's fault that the infrastructure has gone out. It's in disrepair. disrepair. And remember, de Blasio wanted to increase the minimum wage, and I think that Cuomo basically said no. And of course, a lot of this stuff is dictated by money that they get from the state and that they get from the federal government. So, uh, and again, as the, 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 there's been uh, traffic jams in New York City since, you know, 1915. Uh, and so it's hardly anything new and hardly anything you can uh, blame on de Blasio. I sort of think that Billy, at certain points in time, even though that he's writing this or someone else is writing this, it's, 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 it's like he's schizophrenic or something. Because why is he bringing this whole thing up when you're talking about the, the murder rates that are going on in these cities? And then I know he's got to blame de Blasio 
Blasio, but then he has to bring in other aspects of it to blame him even further for things that have nothing to do with the Blasio. Again, he also brought up air pollution, that because there's all these traffic jams, it increases the air pollution, which is the Blasio's fault, because the traffic jams are his fault, because the infrastructure is crumbling. Nothing like that never happened in the 1950s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, etc. None of that ever happened. It only happened in de Blasio's time. And there's time, and of course, B B Billy, uh, you know, answers his own question by saying, it's no question that this has happened in de Blasio's watch. So he brings up, then he has to also bring up that Chicago, uh, New York, and uh, Baltimore, uh, that all of this is happening under the Democrats' watch because the Democrats control the city. Now, one of the things that I pointed out a number of when this Baltimore thing came out was at one point Baltimore was a very strong, very big manufacturing uh, city. I believe the Sparrows Point, uh, um, Bethlehem Steel Plant employed over 20, 25,000 people. That was one of the larger ones in Baltimore. That by the early 1970s, they had started to cut back on that. That by the 1990, there was no one working there at all. Uh, so they had a dramatic shift in terms of the fact that uh, these good paying union um, steel working jobs were going overseas. And guess what? That was just that one plant. There were all kinds of plants all over Baltimore for other steel, specialty steel, all kinds of manufacturing, and a lot of them went away also. And that uh, these types of positions, they never came back. And that this people in the city, especially people of color, especially black people of color, were hit hardest from it. And of course, that's something that's going on, that was going on at the federal level, not at the city level. You cannot blame the city officials when plants are closing down because people in Congress, white people in Congress from rural areas, <laughs> you know, are, are passing bills that allow uh, manufacturers to make things overseas much cheaper and then bring them back to the United States. In the meantime, losing all these jobs in, let's say, the great northern cities and the Rust Belt, so to speak. But no, Billy has to blame the Democrats for that day in and the day out. And of course, his 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 ode to fear at the end is is that this violence will continue, and that you better get used to it because that's the way it's going to be with Billy. Now, I don't agree with any of that. He's all over the map in this place case. But all he wants to do is bring in fear, and uh, you know, whenever it's overseas, it's Obama's fault. Whenever uh, the uh, uh, murder or the things that he wanted to fear in the United States, the murder rate, Baltimore, Chicago, and uh, in New York City, uh, it's the Democrats' fault. See, and of course, pollution's their fault, infrastructure failures their fault. It's everything that's their fault. Uh, Billy is just a schizophrenic. I just can't believe he just goes on to so many tangents. But fear is the motivator that he got. That's what he's selling, and he's going to stick with it.